Oh, man. He missed. Amazing. That's right! Mary Jane! A Mary Jane! The incredible Mary Jane! Get fucked! You know who I am! I'm stabbing you! I'm stabbing you! I'm stabbing you, Mary Jane! God damn! Can you do that, Spider-Man? But that's not all that makes a woman! So say it, California! It was nothing for me! Spider-Man has all this trouble, they should get me a fucking suit. Oh my god, I'm menstruating, but I don't, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna have a surgery so that I don't do that, so I can join my trans brothers who do not have the ability to menstruate. Ah! Fucking literal androgynous plank. This is what is allowed for women these days. That's crazy. Drinking some water. And I want you guys to have a much better look at this, so just give me one second. Woo! Ooh, she's hot! <laughs> you serious? Hello, beta testers. Did you know? All the LGBT missions, dialogue, and content have been removed from the Middle East version of Spider-Man 2 because they actually wanted to sell it over there. I say again, there's an objectively better Spider-Man 2 out there that the literal Middle East has access to but not the United States of America. I guess this is how backwards Western media has become. We used to call this clown world, but I humbly welcome you to the Panderverse. When the Middle East gets a Spider-Man that's closer to what the game should be instead of the life is strange, swainy, walking sim full of your ESG dog shit. But you don't have to take my word for it. Then it takes about 40 minutes to go a bit life is strange, both tonally and mechanically. In their tongue, he is Dovahkiin, Dragonborn. Later, what amounts to little more than a 20 minute walk and talk, didn't most people dislike these on rail segments last time around? No, they didn't dislike them. They hated them. I should know. I was there. You know, when I think of how SBMM and disbanding lobbies ruined Call of Duty, I need to remind myself it's less about the pussies who call themselves Americans who can't even make a good gun game and it's more about them crafting a product, not a game. But as cucked as destiny may show some players to be, there's always a breaking point. I can break free from a man. Halo Infinite was actually pretty finite. Uh, Battlefield thought they could remove the scoreboard from the competitive shooter, be like a fighting game where there's no winners or losers, you know? That's how, that's how fucking cucked the woke pronoun warriors are. Do you guys remember that Marvel's Avengers game by Crystal Dynamics? It's delisted now, but it wanted to take the super out of the hero. Sounds like a really fun experience, right? What's my nigga Reggie say about that? If it's not fun, why bother? Oh cool, damn, I guess Japan doesn't need huge dicks to keep railing the western video games industry. Diablo and Avengers both reached a point where they were begging for your money, please, please come and pay. But no, the package mattered. And let's be honest, it's the characters, shape, and models that were fucked into the future. Eastern games and their actually inclusive and often customizable breast sizes that jiggle with the realism afforded to us by the advancements in technology we have achieved. But unfortunately, 
Insomniac Games has opted to take the spider out of the man. What would Spider-Man be without his spider powers? I'll tell you, he'd be man. Is that what you came here to play? Man 3? Oh, you know what it is? It's that it was never our fault that you're so stupid that you didn't recognize pandering and must have thought that sweet uncle corporation really cared about insert ethnicity, gender, or identity here. Or... If you're interested in being reasonable for a couple of minutes, maybe Corporation cares about the money, but I'm sure they them comes in at a close second. <laughs> and not like, you know, 15 other entries of the money. Fucking idiots. Forgive the molding, this is a video about how they removed all that woke shit for a version of the game that they wanted to actually sell. So gone is the mission where Cuban Spider-Man hooks up a gay Indian guy with his man partner. Gone is the mission where you play as a deaf black girl who graffitis poems about racism. Gone is the dialogue where you rescue people and they tell you about their same-sex partner, the pride flags, uh, you know, Jesus Christ, man. A user responding to all of this said, Honestly, as someone who's gay, I miss when society wasn't so focused on us. And in response, the guy signal boosting all of this said, It's just the idea that you can't complain about tokenization or bad interpretation without being called a bigot. We are struggling in the same direction. Maybe they should focus more on what these companies are doing to you. Don't ask questions. Just consume product and then get excited for next products. How does it feel to have lived long enough to see all of your favorite franchises go down in flames? Feels great. <laughs> Soy has consumed Insomniac Games as absolutely as Sony's ass consumes Blackrock cock. But I can tell you why it's even worse. The studio's clearly full of Danicast writers who lack the sense and restraint not to write everyone like this character. If you know, you know. And they take the, the titties offer as well, so it's like there goes all the appeal. Life is strange meets CW, man. So yeah, I like getting blocked by people with community manager in their job title when they won't respond to me recognizing pandering. I love the insinuation that I'm not a real fan by some fucking tourist. I'm not a shill. I'm not a fanboy or a trans games journalist. So I know that the cruelest thing that I can say is the truth. The truth is, it's funny that some of us thought you assholes had a ghost of a chance of coming close to the masterpiece that was Batman Arkham Trilogy. So when I splash up a Jewish journalist Jason's woke take on how he thinks the studio should be more diverse, goo goo gaga. Wrong. We tried things your way too, remember? The gamer would prefer the studio staffed by the most qualified. Preferably not by losers so up their own ass that they think they can whitewash another culture's language to be more progressive and inclusive. Have fun tweeting. Get mad all you want. It doesn't change reality. And the reality is that the majority of Spanish speakers that I have spoken to on that video, all of these Spanish speakers are all agreeing with me. Watch what they approve of and watch what they censor. Final Fantasy 16 had to deal with the onslaught from games journalists, most of them white as hell, talking about this Japanese game needs to be more diverse. Did you know that Final Fantasy 16 did not censor its game and Spider-Man 2 did? You know, the Disney way of hiding ethnics on the poster so it doesn't hurt sales. Hypocrisy. It's the defining trait of these woke lunatics hell-bent on dividing. I want genuine equality, not an ugly Emma Frost, not an ugly storm. Nerds, wrap your brain around this phrase. An ugly mystique? She's a fucking shapeshifter. But femme fatales are dead. So saith woke culture. Women must be masculine and ugly. So saith woke culture. Existing is not enough. Acceptance is not enough. You must actively participate. You must love the downgrades, the reductions, the deconstructions, the Jurassic Park without dinosaurs. My name is Kyle. I'm a human being. 
I believe that more should unite us than divide us. Similarities, different strokes, all of that bullshit. I speak on behalf of the niggas who be staying in their own lane and shit. The white and black people that laugh at Boondocks and Chappelle because laughing is human and we are that first. People come at me like I'm some sort of fucking gaming Malcolm X. I'm talking about video games and I thought that I would be the most cringe nigga in the room and you're out here pulling your pants down because you need to arch that back and be the most embarrassed. The fuck is wrong with you? The truth is, I don't care who calls me racist for acknowledging someone deliberately diminishing a culture, especially when it contributes to tensions that will be felt for a while. I'm talking about bullshit like Mortal Kombat. There is a simple man out there who keeps the wheels turning in our fucking society and he wants a simple escape when he comes home. Something that he grew up with. Something he can set his watch to. Something that can be summarized in two words. Blood tits. And you took the tits out of the motherfucking Mortal Kombat. You're contributing to the tension. Dividing. You can make a female look like anything but woke is so stupid that it'll take the sexy out of the lingerie and you need to lose millions to learn a fucking lesson from that they're far gone but the worst part is we can't even speak sense to these radical trans numb nuts that don't understand that you're only useful for now and some of that time is coming to an end we doing you a favor you see a title to a video and you think everybody's the same on youtube because it's kyle what is up guys it's your boy coming at you with another one don't forget to like favorite and fucking subscribe smash that like button give me five stars you remember that shit back on youtube some of us ain't out here for attention on my demonetized fucking channel my nigga we want this shit to stop because we know it'll only get fucking worse in ways you can't fucking imagine if you don't give people the release that they deserve all of us deserve it call me a coomer i'm willing to be cringe if it furthers my message Mission failed. Return to base. 